The Elgato HD60 is the current leading device for capturing gameplay from consoles such as the PS4, Xbox One, and the Xbox 360. It does have some competition, but the Elgato easily stays in the number one spot nonetheless. However, you have to be careful before venturing off to buy this device because you need to check that your PC is powerful enough to handle it. For software, you're gonna need Windows 7 or later or OS X 10.9 or later. In terms of hardware, you're gonna need at least a second generation Intel Core i5 or something that is comparable in the speed and power and a minimum of 4GB of RAM. But if you have lower specs than that, I advise you not to buy it because you're not gonna be able to record at all and all your recordings are gonna end up extremely choppy and laggy. But without further ado, Let's go to the setup. So setting it up is actually very easy. You're gonna need a monitor or TV, a console that is either the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, or the PlayStation 4. It does not work with the PS3, alright? And you need a PC. It can be it can be either Windows or Mac. Now in terms of cables, you're gonna need two HDMI cables. One of them is already gonna come with Elgato, so you're just gonna need one of your own. And you're gonna need a USB cable. It also comes with Elgato. So on the right side of the Elgato, you have an HDMI in, an audio jack and the USB port, uh, or mini USB port. And on the other side, you have an HDMI, another HDMI port. So the first thing, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is grab the HDMI cable, grab one end, and put it in the HDMI out. Right. So the out goes to the monitor. So you're gonna want to grab the other end, and you're gonna want to plug it into your monitor. So now that that's plugged in, uh, you're gonna take the other HDMI cable, put one end in the HDMI in. and put the other end in in the, in the HDMI slot or on your console. So now that that's there, you're gonna wanna take the USB cable, put the USB, so this is a USB 2.0, but I prefer to put it in the, in the 3.0 slot, but you can put it in either the 2.0 or the 3.0, it really doesn't matter. All right, after that, you're gonna wanna take the mini USB cable and put it in the mini USB slot on Delgado. And then you're gonna find uh, glowing white and red uh, strip so that means that it's activated and you can start recording. 